Hi everyone, it's Holly Schultz from babygizmo.com. Now let me first tell you that my baby must have this week is not going to be for every baby or every toddler. It has two very specific uses and if you need it for those things, it could be a godsend for your family. It is the crib tent. And let me tell you, I have sworn by the crib tent for two of my three kids. Now the first use for a crib tent is if you have animals, specifically cats, and you don't want them to jump in the crib with your newborn. I don't have any cats, but I can imagine that if I did, I would not want Mr. Fluffies to jump on my newborn's head. So I would invest in a crib tent because what it does, it, it gives them a protect, protective surrounding so the cat can't get into the crib. Now the second use, and what I use it for, is for those toddlers that climb and have learned to escape their crib a little too early for your liking. Now my first daughter, she learned to scale the sides of her crib Mission Impossible style at age 17 months. One morning I woke up at 7 a.m. and she was standing next to my bed just staring at me. Needless to say, I, you know, it scared the crap out of me, but we took five days trying to figure out how to keep her in her bed with no success. So what we did is we invested in a crib tent and we didn't look back until it was time to transition her into a big girl bed. It's just that at 17, 18 months, in my household, it's just too early to be out of your crib. It's not safe at night. Plus, if you've ever seen a toddler escape their crib, it can be pretty scary. First of all, you have two different kinds of toddlers. The first one is gonna scale the cribs and go down the side of it like Mission Impossible. It's kind of crazy. The second one is gonna climb to the top and throw their bodies onto the floor. It's very dangerous because one misstep of a toddler, you know, they're not very agile. One misstep, it's gonna cause them to go crashing to the floor and you don't know what they're gonna land on. This could cause broken bones, dislocated shoulders, dislocated elbows. It's a nightmare. So if you have one of those early climbing toddlers that can escape their crib, a crib tent, I'm telling you, it is awesome. Now, if you're gonna get a crib tent, you're gonna get it from Tots in Mind. That's the manufacturer, and they're the only ones that make a crib tent. Now let's talk about the crib tent. It is a mesh enclosure that's going to keep your child or cats, your child in the, in the crib, cats out of the crib. And what it does is you can see there's this dome piece up here. You put it together very easy with these poles, kind of like putting a tent together. It has mesh all the way down the side, so even if your child tried to kick through the, the slats, they won't be able to. So it's kind of like a cool bumper. Um, it goes underneath the crib mattress, and uh, like I said, it domes up over so the toddler can still stand up with no problem. It's mesh throughout the whole thing, so air supply is, you know, tons of air in there. Th then you have the zipper. Now the zipper, what I love is this is how you get your toddler in there. You open it up. You put your toddler in and you zip it. What I love about the zipper is it's only on the outside. This zipper part, first of all, there's a piece of cloth right there. So when I zip it closed, the toddler can't get to the zipper. You know, those toddlers are smart. They, if they could get to the zipper, they would open it up and escape. So I love the fact that they allowed only the parent to use the zipper. So there you go. That is my baby must have if you have either a cat and you wanna keep them away from your newborn or if you have those toddlers that can escape early, I would suggest getting a crib tent. Now, it's not the prettiest thing either, I'm telling you that, but it's worth its weight in gold because of the use factor. So I, you know, it doesn't make the nursery look great, but it serves a purpose. So there you go. That is my baby must have for this week, and I'm Holly Schultz from babygizmo.com.